Hi, this is Dr. Nikki. I'm really excited to be here with you today. I'm going to be talking about, everybody knows this, my favorite tool, the beaded number line. So this is the thing about the beaded number line. You can use it to do so much stuff. And if you look, I have a video on third grade, a video on fourth grade, so you can look at that to see some of those prerequisite skills. I'm really going to focus on um, fifth grade right now. And when we look at fifth grade and the beaded number line, it's so cool, right? Because there's a hundred. So this is the whole. And then each one of these are the individual ones. They're the hundredths. And then these are tenths. You see how they're divided into tenths. So now we're talking decimals in fifth grade, right? Stuff that the kids get all confused on. If you have this in your decimal toolkit, if you have nothing else, the kids will totally get, get decimals. So let's start where you start. What is a decimal? It's it's a part of a whole. And so kids can see that on here, right? They can see the tenths and they can see the hundredths. Now we're going to say, oh, let's round decimals. Super easy with the beaded number line. So you go 10, 20, 30, 40. Let's um, do 57. We're in around 57 to the nearest tenth. Look at that. Beautiful. 57 to the nearest tenth. It rounds up to six tenths, right? If we have 57 hundredths, it rounds up to six tenths, right? But we could say, oh, we have 42 hundredths. What does it round to the nearest tenths? Oh, it rounds to four tenths. This is the tool to teach that, right? It's very, very visual. Before, Way before you ever go to the place value chart and you have kids doing things abstractly, you want them doing it concretely and then you go pictorially and then you go abstractly so this this right here love it um okay so that's rounding let's do adding and subtracting of decimals so let's say we have you know 47 hundredths let's 10 20 30 40 and we've got 47 hundredths plus 29 hundredths well now 29 is close to 30 but you can do all kinds of things you can say I'm going to add 2,900, so I'm going to add 3. Now I'm only going to add 2,600. So now I can jump 10, 20, and then 6 more. There's 2,600. And then you get your answer. So it's super easy to teach that addition and that subtraction using those strategies that we always work with. So I could say, well, we have um, 70 hundredths or 7 tenths, and we're going to subtract. 49 hundredths. Oh, I could say to the kids, oh, well, why don't we just take away 50 hundredths because it's easier. It's a friendly number, right? See, you're doing the same thing with decimals as you do with whole numbers. Those strategies are the same. The numbers change, but the strategies are the same. So now kids can say, oh, I have 70 um, hundredths or I have 7 tenths and I'm going to take away uh, 49 hundredths. Oh, I'm just going to make that 5 tenths and then put one back. Right, I'm gonna put one hundredth back because I took away too much. So kids can see that. So that compensation really comes into play. So you want to um, teach addition and subtraction strategies um, with the beaded number line. The other thing you can do with the beaded number line is you can get kids to add the tens first and then add the ones. I mean, there's all those strategies that you're trying to get the kids to do, do it on the beaded number line. All right, now let's look at multiplication, multiplication of fractions. What is two times two hundredths? So we have two groups of two hundredths and the kids, they'll take the clothespin and they'll clip it off and they can see two times two hundredths is four hundredths. They can see really easy. What is two times two tenths? So we have two tenths and two tenths, and we, right? And so kids can see that, it's, just, it's so easy. Okay, we're gonna divide. We have um, two tenths and we're gonna divide it by four hundredths. So the question is how many hundredths can we take out of two tenths? And then the kids can actually see that and they're gonna use this to clip off and see. All right, so you can use this for addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of decimals, as well as rounding of decimals, as well as what is a decimal, the place value of decimals, right? This is really good for expanded notation as well, because now kids can see when we say that, let's say 72 is seven times one tenth, and they can see, oh, it's seven times one tenth plus two times one one hundredth, right? So you get that expanded notation kind of right there in front of you at a concrete representational level. So um, remember, concrete first, then pictorial, then abstract. So you're going to get to the place value chart. You're just not going to start there. You should start here. 
the beaded number line will change your lives. Everybody needs it. Okay, this is the thing. How do you build it? People say, do I have to build it? Can I just buy it? No, build it with your kids so they understand the structure. All right, this is what you have to do. You get 10 cups and you put 10 beads in each cup. The kids do this. Never attempt this whole class. Um, remember, <laughs> you have to hold on to your personal sanity at all costs. So you're only gonna have a few kids build this at a time. You could have them doing it in a workstation or whatever, but you have a few kids build this at a time. They get those 10 cups, they put the 10 beads, then they double check that the 10 beads are in the cup and then you get the string. I get the string from Lakeshore and you just, it's just um, shoelaces and um, I forget what they call them because they're, they're like taped at the ends. But if you go to Lakeshore, you can get the shoelaces and then, um, you and they sell like 144 of them for like I don't know ten dollars so then you just double knot it so the beads don't fall off and then you have the kids string them and then you knot it on this side as well so yes the kids need to build them and um, they can build them and it can be organized the most important thing about building are you listening because the most important thing about building the beaded number line with your kids is that you take those four Advil, right? You have, you must take the four Advil before you even start, right? And then it's all gonna be okay. You get some Dixie cups, you get some Advil, you get some beads, you get some number lines, you'll be good. Oh, the other thing is the clothespins. Now I use the small ones. Um, I like the small ones, but the larger ones are more sturdy. Now that's just the truth. The small ones are more likely to come apart, but I like the small ones, but you can get the large ones. I usually get the large colorful ones. Um, Lakeshore sells them, but so does like, you know, craft stores, Michaels, Joann's, all those sell them. And they sell them in different sizes as well as, you know, they also sell them mini ones like this. All right. Well, thank you for joining me. Remember, this is the tool. If you don't have anything else, get this. All right. I'll see you next time. Happy mathing.